Hey, what's up? What's good? How's it going? So what you're about to see is a monthly vlog, but it kind of ended up being more of a summer long vlog because throughout the summer, I was doing a bunch of different like reading vlogs and I was going on some different trips, like my trip to California. And then I also recently just took a trip to Las Vegas. And so this vlog is kind of like a combination of everything that didn't make it into my other vlogs for throughout the summer. Cause I did start filming some of this footage back in June and I'm just now getting around to putting this together. So sorry about that. In this vlog, you will see a compilation of many different things like the heat wave that we experienced in Washington in June. You will see us celebrating my dad's birthday. You will see my trip to Las Vegas that I just recently took. You know, some guitar covers, some footage of Tank, like the usual stuff, you know, me and Austin being idiots at work and different things like that. It's the usual stuff, but I will include timestamps down below if you wanted to jump around to specific things. But other than that, I'm sorry this vlog is so <laughs> random. Also, isn't this new Taylor Swift shirt that I got just like so cute? I got it off Etsy. <laughs> It was a really cool find, but um, anyways, that's why this vlog is kind of random and all over the place because I've been filming it for quite some time. And so, yeah, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy it. Hey, what the fuck? Are you kidding me, Tate? <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> okay. Austin thought it'd be fun to do a reaction to the first video I ever uploaded. <laughs> I am so stoked. I've I don't never even seen this. <laughs> This is so embarrassing. I hate my first. Is it introduction? Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, here we go. Let's see it. Oh, oh my god. Okay, this is like the worst fucking video you're ever going to see. You look so young. I know oh my I'm god. Like fetus. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you legit. Okay. If I were to like walk into you on the street, I'd be like, man, she's probably like 14, 15. Shut up. <laughs> I was 20 years old here. <laughs> oh All my right, god. We'll go ahead. Okay. I've let's already do it. watched it. Okay. Wait. So, do I watch it? Hello, my name is Gabby. Welcome to my book tip channel. I am I love 20 it. years old. I live in Southern California and I am a huge fan of books. Oh, I there we go. I love it. I read constantly. Um, you can I like, bully me. It's I, no, I like it. The whole setup already done. Oh like, God. you're already ready. No. Like, was this, did you have like a desk setup or like, was this just like a spur of the moment? You're like, I'm gonna start a YouTube channel. Oh, no, set it's just up. my bookshelf behind me. But like, did you like, did you like set up for this? Were you like, I'm gonna make a channel. Like, this is gonna be it. Or did you just like, just one day, just like, I'm gonna do it. And then you just kept doing it. I just wanted to, look, well, I wanted to start a channel for like over a year. And then one day I was like, fuck it. I'm starting it today. Dang. And it was like random. That's crazy. What books do you have? Do you still have those books in the back there? Some of them, yeah. The not Fifth Wave. Oh, I actually read not, that book. Not that one. <laughs> really? I've actually read the beginning of that book. I think. Gone Girl, classic, vicious. Is that is that the one where like the the I only read like the first like chapter thing. Is that one Gone like Girl. goes to the restaurant? No. The big five. The fifth wave. Oh. Is that like the <laughs> alien movie or something like yeah. that? Yeah. I have oh. another channel in your <laughs> What do you mean? What was gross about that? Gross. Oh my god. YouTube channel. Um I have a book Instagram. Which okay, okay. I feel like you've gotten so much more bubbly. Like I feel like you're well, so I know, serious I'm like in this. And like you're boring. like, you're like, hello. I'm like hello. I also have a book. <laughs> you should do videos like that. Like, oh my god. You should legit make a video like that where you're just like, no. hello. Oh my god. I am Gabby. This is the most boring video. <laughs> no, it's amazing. This is so oh. great. This is gold. What are you talking about? Like nobody here. <laughs> it's an introduction. What do you mean? That's a, what you're being so hard. Like, this is normal shit. What like, are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, I'm a catcher. Like nobody fucking here. <laughs> I feel like that's not that weird. That's really not that weird. It's it's just so why funny. is that so cringe? Just keep watching. You guys don't know. It's just like. like uh, oh whoa! Well, you brought a cup. You brought props. Oh that's how it's Okay, that's that's kind of it's funny though. California, the restaurant, so, uh, some of you probably don't know what it is, but it's okay. So, just what? Have an idea. How many views does this have, I wonder? Let's take a look. It has 161 likes. 4,000 views? That's crazy. Damn. Uh-oh, I think she's gonna come back. I'm gonna get in trouble. <laughs> I'm gonna like it on her own channel. <laughs> self like it. Okay, I'm gonna help. I don't know how to turn the camera off. Okay, I wanted to do a cover of this song because I love Doja Cat's new album and this one is one of my faves, but I don't know if I'll do this justice. Like, we'll just have to see. We hug and yes, we make love and always just say goodnight. And we cuddle, sure, I do love it, but I need your lips 
So cute. Today it's supposed to get up to 99 degrees, and then these next two days are supposed to be 104 and 109. And yes, we're living in Washington. This is very unusual, unusually hot weather for us. Last night in our pizza restaurant, it got up to 92 degrees in our kitchen. We are all suffering in 92 degree weather in our kitchen. We still have to wear our face masks. Dude, oh my God. There were so many moments I got lightheaded when I was working yesterday because it was so unbelievably hot. And so yeah, it's already 90 degrees today and I'm already like dying. I had to sleep with like a wet towel on me last night because I was so hot. And we don't have air conditioning in our apartment either, you know, so I'm just gonna see how long I last before I go running to my parents' house because my parents have AC and like over these next two nights, it's gonna be like 108 and shit. Like I'm not sleeping here. I'm going to my parents' house probably. But anyways, right now I am off to Vitality. I'm actually going to meet Austin there because we haven't seen each other in a minute. So we just wanted to like hang out and catch up. What was less awkward? <laughs> less awkward? There's no guy. way for that to be. <laughs> <laughs> that's impossible. Yeah, that's time. impossible. You can't achieve the impossible, okay? <laughs> we just got us Abel's. And now I got a medium. Yeah, no, you got a large. I, got a large. <laughs> I got a medium. Uh, but I was supposed to get a large. Yeah, that's my stuff. So rip. Yeah, I know. That was a sad day. Come on. Austin's trying to get me to go to the gym. This is abuse. <laughs> this is abuse. <laughs> Sure. I just I don't go to the gym right after I eat, you know. Oh, That's yeah, your okay. thing. It's just it's just it's like gas, you know. You just get you get pumped gas. Up. <laughs> no. it's, gas. it's your gym fuel. Yeah, gym. It's like you know how like uh, what is that? G fuel? Is that what gamers oh, have? Yeah. yeah. It's, like, <laughs> it's like that. <laughs> That's us. It's like G fuel. But it's but gym it's, fuel. It's gym fuel. Oh, there, we go. there it awesome. is. You can see me walking in. Like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> right. I forgot. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Ninety-three. It's only eleven a.m. Me and Tank are roasting. Oh, dinky. It's okay, buddy. No. No. God damn. <laughs> it's here. Okay, excuse my language, but fuck this shit. I just got done working a five hour shift in 104 degrees. It's literally hotter in my pizza restaurant than it is outside. And it's because our fucking pizza oven is 400 degrees and it's just blasting heat into our space. Ridiculous. Like, it was unbearable. Like, I am fucking soaked. And this is only, like, the first real day of the heat wave. Like, the next two days are supposed to be even hotter. Like, oh my god, my face is still so red. And, like, I was literally, like, we all had, like, wet, icy rags around us. We were dumping towels and ice buckets and throwing them around our necks because none of us could deal with this shit. <sighs> just so frustrated like it was such a long shift and I hate the heat I feel like that one TikTok where she's like I'm 50% potato Get it. Well, these last 24 hours have been rough to say the least so yesterday after working for five hours in 104 degrees um, I came home and <laughs> It was still pretty hot in our apartment. Like it was about 88 degrees all night in our apartment. And it sucked because in the middle of the night at two in the morning, our power went out at our apartment building. And so we didn't have any fans, like literally nothing for like over two hours. And they couldn't turn the power back on until like closer to like 4.30 in the morning. We were without any power at all in a fucking heat wave for like two and a half hours. It sucked. And then the power came back on at like four something. And then it went out again at like five in the morning and came back on at 5.30 in the morning. And I woke up somewhere around four in the morning when the power was out and I started freaking out because my fan was off and I was like, oh my God, it's so hot. 
I literally took like my tiny like square towel that I use for my hand washing in the bathroom and then I took another bigger towel and I got them soaking wet and I was like putting them on my body because it was so freaking hot and so of course like every time I kept waking up my fan was shut off because the power would just randomly go out like it went out two times over the night and so I got absolutely no sleep last night and it's just been really fucking hot and today right now it's like 106 degrees out tomorrow it's supposed to be 109 and this has just been like torture so uh, I'm at my parents house right now if you couldn't tell <laughs> I, me and Rachel decided to come here today because my parents have air conditioning. So thank freaking goodness for that. Now we've been in air conditioning all day and I'm forever grateful because holy fuck, it's hot outside. Like Washington is not built for this shit. And it's sad because most of the apartment buildings and homes out here don't have air conditioning because Washington never gets this fucking hot. Rachel's going to get McDonald's because almost every restaurant in this area is closed because of how hot it is. So we don't really have a lot of food options today. And my big beautiful girl. Hey. <laughs> Hi, my beauty, pretty baby. Hi. <laughs> Here comes Tink. <gasps> Tinkers. Hey, Tinkers. They're getting along pretty good now, I'd say. They're just chilling, just vibing. Hello, today is June 30th. And yeah, holy shit, these last few days. <laughs> have been uh, really, really intense because on Monday, the day after I took that clip, I took the last clip in this vlog on Sunday. And then the next day I ended up doing the live show with Jesse that day for the other black girl. And on that day, it got up to 109 degrees and I wasn't scheduled to work that day. But then immediately after I got off the live show, Rachel sent me a text and she was like, can you please come in and help? Because they were absolutely slammed because we were one of the only restaurants open in our town because everything else was closed because of how hot it was and so i ended up going into work that night and they were so slammed like it was the busiest night i've ever worked at our restaurant and in the restaurant it was like about 98 degrees that night even with the air condition being fixed and it was so hot i mean it wasn't as hot as saturday night but it was definitely like really really hot and i think we were just so busy because nobody wanted to cook at home in like 109 degrees nobody wanted to like use their ovens you know so like it makes sense but like Oh my god it was chaos it was like absolute chaos we ended up having to close an hour early because we were literally running out of inventory we had to shut off online ordering like it was just insanity like i've never worked a shift that busy before and so i was glad that i went in to help and it was actually really great because rachel sent out a code red in our group chat to like let everyone know that they're fucking slammed and they need help and we had four people show up like on a code red call that weren't scheduled to work that night. So I feel like that just shows how amazing the crew is at my job. Like we, like everybody's so amazing and willing to like show up for people. And just, I just love the crew so much. Like they're all such great people. And so yeah, there was like so many of us working. I've never worked with that many people in the restaurant at one time, but it was just like absolute chaos craziness. And then luckily by Tuesday morning, the heat wave had died down quite a bit and it was only about like 88 degrees on tuesday was the hottest it got so it really like dropped down nearly like 20 degrees the next day yeah i just i just really love the people that i work with and like honestly the people that i work with like they're like the main reason why i am staying at this job for so long i just love them all so much they're like a, they're like a family to me and as of tomorrow if we're vaccinated we're no longer required to wear our face masks at work which is just wild to me you know because like this whole time we've all been still required to wear our face masks even if we were vaccinated um, so it's gonna be very strange to be at work again with no face mask after like over a year long It's just wild, you know because it's like we've hired a lot of new people since the start of the pandemic And it's like I don't even know what they look like without a mask on, you know Tank um, needs to be held at all times That's like his thing, you know He just doesn't want to be on the ground like a few feet away from you. He just wants to be held <laughs> okay, what's the plan here, dude? Where are you going? Why are you licking the table? <laughs> oh, that's enough, sir. That's enough. Hi, it's been like over a month since I've last updated this vlog probably because um, I did a bunch of like reading vlogs in between and then I actually 
took an entire trip to California. I went to Mammoth with all of my cousins and <laughs> I made an entire vlog separate just for that trip because I just wanted it to be like its own vlog, you know? So um, I have been vlogging a lot. I just haven't been updating this vlog in particular very much. So yeah, um, not a whole lot is new. I've just been like super busy with, you know, YouTube and like work. And it's pretty exciting because at work we had this competition over the summer and the competition was to get the most like signups on our new app that we have with the company. And my store won. And so because we won, our company is gonna pay for us to go to PizzaCon in August in Las Vegas. And I'm so excited. Like we're only gonna be in Vegas for like two days, but like still, it's gonna be like all the managers at my store. So like Rachel's going to and the other assistant manager, Johnny and my friend Austin's gonna be going to and it's just gonna be so much fun to go to Vegas with everyone and so yeah that's happening in August which I'm so excited about like it's literally less than a month away what is up today is July 25th and I recently bought a new bookshelf and I'm very excited about it because um, for so long I've been wanting to get a second wooden bookshelf in my room because you know, I have the one wooden bookshelf and then I have a white bookshelf. And for some reason, the white bookshelf has been making my room feel like super claustrophobic because of the like sides. And it's just very like not convenient for a very small space. So I ended up ordering a second wooden bookshelf off of Target's website and it just delivered today. I'm going to unbox it now and put it together. Hopefully I can put it together by myself. I mean, I'm smart. And uh, my mom is actually going to be taking my other white bookshelf. I'm not sure if she's taking it for herself or if she's gonna give it to a friend, but I'm so excited. I also might try to change up my room and like the way that I have it laid out. So the time has come. I have built the new bookshelf that's like out in the main room still and I'm planning on taking off all the books off of this white shelf and then hopefully I can get it out of here by myself but I can't remember how heavy it is so I might actually need help later with that but I'm the only one home right now for the whole day so <laughs> bookshelves are in the room and I do think it looks so much nicer like I don't know I just love the look of the wooden bookshelves so much more than the white ones um I was able to push that one all the way back into that corner so now I don't know if I want to like move this one even slightly more over but I'm not sure because like, now I kind of want to like change the whole layout of my room because I have the new bookshelves but I'm just trying to like figure out if everything's gonna fit all right I have finished up for now at least I uh, put all the shelves back together and something I noticed is that my other bookshelves actually had like shorter shelves so I actually have a lot more space than I originally anticipated so yeah I think it looks really freaking nice. I'm not sure how I feel about this cart being like this pushed up against this bookshelf. I might want to move this book cart somewhere else but I think it looks really nice for now and so spacious like I feel like I feel like I have so much more room. So yesterday it was hot as fuck outside and my room never got lower than 80 degrees and then today it's like cloudy question mark and it looks like it's gonna rain or something we're off to meet one of our besties <clears throat> but at least this time it feels like the turmoil is actually <laughs> i've missed this girl so bad you don't even know <laughs> this place is so cute <laughs> look at that cute look at the little baby this is so cute <laughs> oh, oh, oh. We're finally gonna watch Black Widow! We just said fuck it and bought it on Disney Plus. Because <laughs> we're too lazy to go out and we got Pizza Hut. <laughs> 
And we have an air conditioner. <laughs> it's amazing. It's so cold in here now. Oh my god, okay, so Black Widow was so good. I really, really enjoyed that movie and I feel like Florence Pugh just gave like an amazing performance and totally stole the show for me. Like she was just so fun to watch and she's such a badass bitch and I just like really love Florence Pugh. And the ending of the movie like made me cry. Like, am I okay? Oh, it was just really good and really surprising and um, gosh, I'm so bummed because <laughs> My sister's air conditioner got delivered today, but mine isn't getting delivered till Monday, so I still have to go two more days without it, and it's still 76 degrees in my room, which I know it doesn't sound like it's that hot, but like, last night it didn't get below 80, and it's just been like, ugh. Hello, it's been about two days, but I have decided to change up my room, and yesterday I spent a couple of hours moving around everything in my room, and I really love how it turned out. Now, like right when you walk in the door, I put my little black little cart right here that I have and then I move my bed into this corner which it used to be in this corner facing this way and the bookshelves used to be up against this wall and so yeah I moved the bed this way which has been really nice and then I have these dangling lights right here that look so nice like right next to the bed I really like that and then I don't know if I'm gonna keep that dream board there or if I'm gonna move it back over here because I feel like this wall looks really bare without it and then turning right to the right here, I do have this other bookshelf. That's my like book of the month bookshelf. And I think it actually looks really cool right here. And I think I really like how much space it gives me in like the rest of the room. Like I have so much more space in here now with all of this like part of the room open. And then I also put this book cart and bookshelf back here. I know it looks a little cramped, but it doesn't feel very cramped. And it's just so nice to like be laying in bed and staring at this bookshelf. I also put these like orange lights around this bookshelf. I originally had them around my bed but I can't really see them behind all my pillows so I thought it'd be nicer to actually have it on the shelf and these look so cool at night because they're so orange. I'm very happy with how this turned out. I just feel like I have so much more space over here. Like I can literally fit my whole yoga mat right here and like do some freaking yoga if I want to. So I finally got the air conditioner set up today. Look at how cute it is. I feel like this was especially good timing for us to get the AC because even though it is now August and it is like, do we really even really need this like right now? But now we're getting a bunch of smoke that's coming over from Eastern Washington. The winds have like changed direction I've heard and now we're getting smoke from over there. So outside it's like super smoky and I can't even imagine how bad it is in Eastern Washington right now if it's this bad here. But like it's super smoky outside so it's really nice that we have these air conditioners now that are filtering the air for us and i feel like it's also a good investment in washington to get an air conditioner i mean i've been <laughs> wanting to get one for a really long time and you guys were telling me to get one like last year because i was complaining about the heat so much but yeah i think they're always a good investment in washington because even if we moved out one day and like got a home or anything like there's a lot of houses in washington that don't have air conditioning so, I mean, I feel like we can't go wrong getting an air conditioner, you know? It's always gonna be a good idea. It's like 10.30 at night. Oh, we, Jesus. Just, <laughs> we just got out of a late meeting, and so naturally, um, we're at McDonald's. <laughs> even though we had dinner. <laughs> naturally. Even though we had dinner like four hours ago. But we're here for some fries and some McFlurries. And Happy birth. Wow, is that mayonnaise? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I ain't judging. <laughs> mm, this is my lovely pink here. Yum. Rose. Oh, I forgot my stink. Wow, what an idiot. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Bye, I love you. Happy birthday. Okay, love you. <laughs> love you too. You okay, like relaxed? And he went like this. And I just pulled the blanket on him. 
Today I had a wonderful day at my parents' house because it was my dad's birthday and we got to celebrate with him, have some dinner. It was a wonderful time. Lately I've been obsessed with these um, icebreaker sours again. I used to love these when I was a kid. Like this used to be my shit and now I just randomly like saw it at Target the other day and I bought a pack and I'm now obsessed with them again. I feel like I haven't like sat down with you in a while and just talked, you know? I feel like lately I've discovered so many new things that I've been obsessing with. About a week or two ago, I asked in my Instagram stories for some YouTuber recommendations because I was looking for some new YouTubers to watch and I got recommended a ton. This girl, Bailey Sarian, <laughs> she has like 5 million subscribers so you've probably heard of her by now but um, I just discovered her channel and she does true crime stories while she does her makeup. It's like so unique and so cool and it's just like my favorite thing ever. And so I've been binge watching her videos and I even got Rachel like hooked onto her videos, which is so exciting because I've been trying to get Rachel more into like true crime stuff. She really likes makeup and so <laughs> she really likes watching Bailey's videos and it makes me so happy. So me and Rachel have been watching a ton of her videos. And then randomly in my YouTube recommendations, I got this guy's videos, Mr. Ballin. I mean, his, uh, his YouTube name does sound pretty stupid, like not gonna lie, but... His videos are actually really, really cool. Um, the one that got me hooked was this video he did very recently called The Valley of Headless Men. And it was so intense and so creepy. And he's just like a really good storyteller. And his videos are just really interesting stories about either like spooky and creepy paranormal, like weird shit, or they're kind of like, sometimes he does do kind of like true crime stuff. But a lot of his videos are stuff like things that you can't believe are actually true or like, three places that these people went to where they weren't allowed to go to but they tried to anyway and what happened to them like stuff like that even today um at my parents house i was trying to get my parents to watch his videos because i feel like it would be something that they would like too and so we watched a couple of videos at my parents house and i don't know it's just a really interesting YouTube channel and I just really love shit like that. So I've been watching a ton of his videos lately. There's this app you might have heard of called Likewise and I'm actually doing a sponsored video with them pretty soon, like either at the end of August or early September. But I actually just, I genuinely love this app and the other night I spent <laughs> hours going through and liking because it's pretty much you can just go in there and like or dislike any TVs or movies, books or podcasts and then the more stuff that you like, the more it narrows down your taste and gets a feel for your taste and so I was going in there and making different like lists of like my favorite shows my favorite books and all this stuff and I actually discovered this podcast through Likewise that I've really been enjoying and the podcast is called OC Swingers and something that's really cool about this podcast in particular is that it's only a 10 episode podcast and that this is following this one case that took place in Orange County it was a fairly recent case too because by the time that they were recording this podcast nobody had been arrested for anything that happened yet in this case like it was just really interesting and so I'm on episode five out of the ten episodes and I've just really been enjoying it and apparently the people who do this podcast they have a couple other different podcasts that are just like focused on one case and I don't know why I personally thought that I wouldn't be interested in an entire podcast that's just like dedicated to one story but this story is like so fascinating yeah I feel like I've just been so immersed in like true crime stories lately and like the spooky stories that I'm just like <laughs> and Taylor Swift also recently announced like all the titles of the vault songs that are going to be on red I don't know what she's thinking though releasing red like in the middle of November because red is such a fall album for me and I feel like I need to listen to red in the fall and I would love to have the re-recordings to listen to instead but <laughs> Also, I can't believe it. As of tomorrow, it's one week until I go to Vegas, which like this trip is coming up so fast. I am not prepared, but also it's been raining these last like two days and I feel so alive. Like the rain it just makes me feel so much better. It's insane. We're party. Uh -huh. Let's it. <laughs> oh my God. We made it. We made it! We made it! It's Austin's first time in Vegas! Never been! Michael! I'm so stoked! It's gonna be amazing! We're about to in the car! I'm pumped! It's 109 degrees! <laughs> oh my god! Alright, well, it's almost 
11 in the morning now and we just got to our hotel we're staying at caesar's palace and i've actually never stayed here before i've been to vegas uh quite a few times growing up because uh since i used to live in california my parents used to do road trips with us all the time to vegas so vegas almost kind of feels like a second home to me but i've never stayed at caesar's palace and it's so, so unbelievably nice here and look at our view like are you kidding me this is the Bellagio right here. They do the fountain show right here in this water. And then fucking the Paris Eiffel Tower is right there. Like, wow, this is like the best freaking view I could have asked for in Vegas. Like, I can't believe this shit. So yeah, we're on the 42nd floor. <laughs> like, this is amazing. This is freaking... This is so luxurious. I can't deal with this. Not to mention, too, this room is just ginormous. And me and Rachel just have it to ourselves. <laughs> the whole thing. No. <laughs> Why not? You need to help me finish it. Uh, okay. <laughs> I won't argue that. <laughs> you like it, just me making it and just... <laughs> Perfect. No <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Okay, so it's a good burger. <laughs> Pizza con. Oh, you got it? Yes. It was very 
god, brownies are so good.
from Vegas. I've actually been home for a couple of days now and I just wanted to let you know about some of those clips because I feel like I vlogged some in Vegas, but I didn't vlog everything and and so that place that we went to in Area 15 was called Omega Mart and it was one of the strangest things I've ever been in. It was made to look kind of like a store, but then the store would have all these like weird items for sale in there that didn't make any sense. And then there were like secret passageways that like take you back into these like crazy rooms that have all these like really cool lights and things like that. And I guess it's really cool because the entire thing is this like mystery because it's showing signs everywhere of like this girl went missing and you're trying to find out the story. But it's such a complex story of this girl going missing and there's so many clues hidden throughout this entire huge thing that they actually recommend you go back a few times to like figure out the whole story because you're probably not going to get a grasp on it on one visit. But it was still like a really cool experience and it was so fucking creepy because every time there would be like this thing coming over the main speaker and it would say like you're under the control of like the government or whatever the message was saying and then all the employees in the store would like fucking just like go dead and they all like they kept their eyes open for like two minutes straight i was like what the fuck is this it was so creepy and all the employees were such good actors like the first time it happened i was genuinely like so freaked out and i thought something was actually going down and it was really weird but yeah being in that store was reminding me so much of grady hendrix's book horror horror store it was just giving me so much of those vibes like being under the control of the fucking store or something i don't know it was so weird i am a child so i ended up getting this uh really like squishy ball it's like one of those like neatos you know it's like a kind of like a stress ball i guess i don't know i've just i love these things and so i got one of these of course <laughs> and then i also got a mars mud which is like a slime because i've always wanted one of these like ever like i loved these when i was a kid you know you just like stick your fingers in it and it like it's like slime Ugh, i don't know it's amazing i'm surprised they let this back on the plane to be honest <laughs> and it was so funny because when we were all on the way back um in the airport at vegas all of our bags got like pulled to the side to get checked because we all brought some food back from the pizza expo because the pizza expo was so freaking cool you can literally just walk up to any table and they have like pizza samples they have samples of wings like dessert tables like literally anything you can imagine that you can sell in a pizza restaurant there's probably a table for it at the pizza expo and so we were just eating food all day like there was this one cauliflower crust that was so freaking good they also have like dairy-free cheese tables that you can try. They have like salad dressing tables. They even have like tables that are just dedicated to different kinds of pizza boxes and like POS systems and like different kinds of ovens and different mixers for dough, like literally everything. And it was so funny because they had this stand called Killer Brownie that was like these different brownies that are like stacks of brownies. And so we were just like grabbing samples. I took like three of the big samples and I took two of them back in my bag and brought them home because I was like, these are so good. But because we brought brownies to the airport, we all got like checked at security and stuff. It was so funny. I also got this like super cute hat. Isn't it just like so cute? At Pizza Expo, they also did this uh, box folding competition and we all thought like we all wanted to compete so badly in it, but they were gonna have like the finals the next day when we weren't gonna be there anymore. And so that was unfortunate, but we were all like, we could do this. Like this looks so easy because you know, we all fold 12 inch pizza boxes like every day of our lives. But it was really fun to watch. Like the first place winner ended up folding five pizza boxes in 22 seconds, which is just wild. And now we kind of want to like time ourselves at our location to see how long it takes for us to do it. I also thought Top Golf was actually so much fun. I've never actually golfed before in my whole life. I've never really been interested in it, but the Top Golf was so freaking cool because you just golf off of this like little ledge out into a stadium but it like tracks the ball for you so you can see how far you're hitting it and stuff and I was always afraid that I would suck at golf because I've played softball you know for like five years so I was like I'm gonna have a softball swing and I'm not gonna be able to like get the golf swing down because it's kind of different but it was actually like so much fun and it was just like a really great time the only thing that did suck though is that the one in vegas like the top golf in vegas is all kind of like outdoors like it doesn't really have an ac because you're just on a little patio that's outside and so you're getting like hot air coming in from behind you and all around you and it was very hot that day it was like 106 or 109 on that day that we were there so it was very very hot and that was the only thing is that it made it kind of miserable sitting out there being 
being that hot. But besides that, it was really cool. And I would definitely do Top Golf again. Like I had a great time. It was so much fun. And yeah, the whole trip was just so great. And I'm so freaking grateful to our company who took us and they pretty much paid for almost everything while we were there just just so generous of them and so kind and i don't know i'm just feeling very blessed and very grateful and yeah as of today it is august 20th and today it's all like kind of like cloudy and it looks like it might rain out and that just makes me so freaking happy you know like i cannot wait for fall like i'm literally counting down the days and it feels like it's starting to get a little fall like in washington now because sometimes when i go out in the evening the air is a little bit crispy you know like the way it gets in the fall and sometimes i do see a couple leaves starting to fall on the ground that are turning brown and i'm like bitch it's coming so yeah i I'm, i couldn't be more excited i love the fall i literally live for this shit so yeah i think that is all for now for this vlog thank you so much for watching this entire vlog it's been a journey and hopefully the next monthly vlog won't take three months <laughs> and hopefully i can get it up a little sooner next time thank you for watching thanks for hanging out and i will see you very soon with another vlog bye